Good morning around the band. My friend down there in 502 old Dave now, if he gets in jail down there, he will let me know. If he gets in some kind of trouble down there, let me know, and I'll come down and bail him out there, okay? All right, you're out there, fellow, fellow. Good morning, 4046 old Friday with Shanta. Hello, Ben. Hello, uh, Shanta. Hello, Ben. 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 Hello, Ben
But you one of them can pick a mall droppers? So there you go, man. We'll post it up and uh, you can see what you're doing out here, my homeboy. One of my mall dropper brothers. Take care. Charlie Tango, 4040, out here in the beautiful gray shakies of Cali, walking on through. Ten Raja. And who was that calling me around Lake Erie? Roger, Roger, yeah, man. I'm kind of because they're making it rough on you, man. They're making it rough on my brothers around Lake Erie. But uh, I got a sloppy copy on you. I got the video rolling, so come on in here one more time. Say your name like you mean it. <laughs> 6050. He called me Butterbean. Yesterday I came out here, tried to disguise my voice because everybody was calling me. So I tried to disguise my voice. I was calling myself Butterbean and everybody figured it out. I guess I can't disguise my voice. <laughs> oh well, that's the way it rolls sometimes. Sounding good, sounding real good. All right, have yourself a fine one. So it's fun talking to you. 6050 clear. Hi, 60. Take care, my brother. Take care and have a beautiful day on this uh, Wednesday. This beautiful Wednesday, man. Got conditions. It's all good, man. Take care. 60 4040 out here in the great shakies of Cali. Walk it on through. Oh, the rain ain't gonna hurt you. The rain will never hurt you. All you do is get a little wet. What do you think happened to who? Oh, Joe in the cornfield? Well, he might be out there plowing up some corn. Ain't that what they do? Would they shuck it or... Do they plow it or what do they do? Talk to me. Yeah, I don't meet, I don't know. I don't have a pink pack. I don't know how they do that corn. So they got like, like a little corn shucker machine or something. They got a John Deere corn shucker machine or something. <laughs> they call it the John Deere shucker machine. Something like that. I am out here in San Francisco, California. Just about 26 miles south of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, on the Indiana. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, I'm just talking on a little whooping stick. A little, uh, little antenna I just put up in a tree, man. Seems to work pretty good for me, I guess. There's a couple people hear me. I can't believe it. Yeah, Ryan Johnette. Well, shoot, man, you're making it to California. I heard somebody else out there calling me, too, but uh, I didn't get you 28. But uh, I right, my friend. Well, hey, man, good talking to you, and uh, have yourself a blessed day, and I hope you find Joe in the cornfield. I hope the aliens didn't get to him. All right, man, because I, I know some weird things happen in them cornfields. They even had the children of the corn. You remember them? The children of the corn. Yeah, there's a lot of things happen in them cornfields, man. But I guess what happens in the cornfields stay in the cornfields. All right, my friend. <laughs> Let me get out of the middle of the road, 4040, out here around the Golden Gate Bridge. I'll get back with you. Come on, 520 Wisconsin. 
What's going on, my brother? How you been? 4040 with the way. Pain, no pain, no strain. Big brother, you're doing a fine sale in Wisconsin. I see you, uh, how's that predator, uh, 10K working on for you on that, on that end? Come on down, bigger, bigger. Yeah, the Predator 10K mobile antenna, man. That thing, uh, we took it out. We took it out and uh, brought it to a key down. And that thing was, uh, we had to make some adjustments on the vehicle. But once we got that thing set in the right place, that thing was taking out uh, two elements. Two elements, man, you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to be doing some testing up here pretty soon here. We're getting together here on, uh, matter of fact, the 18th doing a little bit of shootout stuff but uh but right now man i am working a gain master antenna in a tree and this thing whoops my beam man i've been playing around with this gain master antenna how's it sounding over there to you it's all real good ain't no pain no strain uh, just like you i ain't got no problem with it but i got a friend that just bought some of them antennas and put them on his mobile and Put a 25K in the corner with a 5 watts of reflect. 5 watts of reflect, 25K in the corner. Yeah, that old Kale makes an antenna, brother. Uh, Kale makes an antenna, no doubt about it, man. Makes the best antenna on the market, bro. Makes the best antenna on the market. I'm telling you, that guy, uh, he's, a, he's a genius. He's a genius. Yeah, right, John. That man. Well, make sure you get you one, man. Make sure you get you one for the the next guy and orders one. I I just had nothing but good luck. Nothing but good luck. If you see my videos, I'm uh, mm, nothing but good luck with his antennas, man. Yeah, good for. All right, forty, forty, man. Well, I got someone else coming coming in here too. Hey, security. Later, 40, 40. They call me 520. Not the side, man. But when they turn me, I'm going to knock out. Come on down. All right, 520. Yeah, no worries, man. All right, 520. Well, I appreciate it, man. And uh, I'll bump it on you and have dab later. Yeah, I'm just down here cruising on this barefoot radio, man. 520, 40, 40. Great shake is the Cali. Me and this uh, Yakimo 2 Grand got down. I'll see ya. 540, 1-0-1. Sorry about that. Hello, uh, one zero one. Come on, talk to me. Forty forty. What the way? Roger on that. Just talking a little stick in a tree, and a barefoot radio, man. <laughs> a little stick in a tree and a barefoot radio, there, Roger. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm talking on a Yezu uh, FT2000D. Uh, Yezu FT2000D there, Roger. Alright, 101. Real good copy, my friend. Well, take care and have a blessed day and uh, uh, keep your eye out for Joe in the cornfield. Keep your eye out for Joe in the cornfield. 
someone lost Joe.